Good morning. My name's Janet Killen. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer this Friday. The Anglican Church of Newcastle undertakes its ministry, work and worship on land entrusted to the Awabakal, the Baripi, the Darkanyung, the Garigal, the Gawigal, the Kamilaroi, the Waramai and Wanarua peoples. We give thanks for their ancestors and acknowledge the ongoing right and responsibility of their elders to care for this country. I pay my respects to all First Nations peoples. If you're following in the prayer book, Friday morning prayer begins on page 413. This morning we will be reading Psalms 108 and a portion of 109. The Psalms begin on page 349 and I will be reading from the first letter of Peter, chapter 2, verses 11 to 17. Let us pray. Through Christ, let us offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle, A Song of God's Grace. We have complete freedom to go into the most holy place by means of the death of Jesus. He opened for us a new way, a living way, through the curtain, through his own body. Since we have a great high priest set over the household of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart and a sure faith, with hearts that have been made clean from a guilty conscience and bodies washed with pure water. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 108, which begins on page 340. 108, page 340. My heart is fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and make melody. Awake, my soul, awake, lute and harp, for I will awaken the morning. I will give you thanks, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing your praise among the nations. For the greatness of your mercy reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens and let your glory be over all the earth, that those whom you love may be delivered. O oh, save us by your right hand, and answer me. God has said in his holy place, I will exalt and divide Shechem. I will parcel out the valley of Suthketh. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet, and Judah, my rod of command. Moab is my washbowl. Over Edom will I cast my shoe. Against Philistia will I shout in triumph. Who will lead me into the fortified city? Who will bring me into Edom? Have you not cast us off, O God? You go not out with our armies. Give us your help against the enemy, for human help is vain. By the power of our God we shall do valiantly, for it is he that will tread down our enemies. Psalm 109, beginning at verse 20 to the end on page 342. Verse 20. Act for me, O Lord my God, for your name's sake, and deliver me as your steadfast love is good. For I am poor and needy, 
and my heart writhes within me. I fade like a lengthening shadow. I'm shaken off like a locust. My knees are weak from fasting. My flesh grows lean and shrunken. I have become the scorn of my enemies, and when they see me, they toss their heads in derision. Help me, O Lord my God, and save me for your mercy's sake, that all may know it was your hand, that you, O Lord, have done it. Though they curse, yet give me your blessing, and those that come against me will be put to shame, and your servant shall rejoice. Let those that oppose me be covered with disgrace, let them wear their shame as a garment. And I will give the Lord great thanks with my mouth, and praise him in the midst of a multitude. For the Lord will stand at the right hand of the poor, to save them from those that would condemn them. Holy God, through your beloved Son, you reconciled all things to yourself, making peace by the blood of his cross. Fill us and those for whom we pray with your peace and joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Peter, chapter 2, beginning at verse 11. Beloved, I urge you as aliens and exiles to abstain from the desires of the flesh that wage war against the soul. Conduct yourselves honourably among the Gentiles, so that, they, though they malign you as evildoers, they may see your honourable deeds and glorify God when he comes to judge. For the Lord's sake, accept the authority of every human institution, whether of the emperor as supreme, or of governors, as sent by him to punish those who do wrong, and to praise those who do right. For it is God's will that by doing right, you should silence the ignorance of the foolish. As servants of God, live as free people, Yet do not use your freedom as a pretext for evil. Honour everyone. Love the family of believers. Fear God. Honour the Emperor. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle, Saviour of the World. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. We pray together, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Collect Almighty God, in your wisdom you have so ordered our earthly life 
that we must walk by faith and not by sight. Give us such trust in your fatherly care that in the face of all perplexities we may give proof of our faith by the courage of our lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for the world and for the church. Hidden and mysterious God, we seek you in our darkness and our unknowing. So come to us with tender love as we raise before you our prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. Saving God, we give thanks for the gospel, for the gift of your Son. We pray for church leaders around the world, both ordained and lay, we pray especially for our bishops, Bishop Peter, Bishop Sonia and Bishop Charlie. Fill your leaders with divine inspiration and revelation so that when they speak, it will be your word which comes in power to challenge, convict and empower. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we pray for all who carry civic and political responsibilities throughout the world. Help the leaders of the nations put aside all selfish ambition as they seek to be the instruments of your will for humanity and carry out your desire for the welfare of all people which will culminate in glory to you and in dignified human lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Compassionate God, we pray for people in need, for the homeless, the hungry, the persecuted, the lonely and forgotten, survivors of abuse, survivors of climate change, victims of war, those whose voices have been silenced. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Healing God, where there is sickness, turn weakness into strength, suffering into compassion, sorrow into joy, and pain into comfort. Help all who suffer to trust in your goodness and hope in your faithfulness even in the midst of their suffering. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Everlasting God, we remember all those who have gone before us. May we, inspired by their example, encouragement and wisdom and teaching, lead others into your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Faithful God, your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you that we can live in your light and walk in your truth. May the things that you have revealed and thoughts that we have shared dwell in our hearts and stir us to action this day. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace be to us all and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining me.